There are new details this morning about the man who gunned down American servicemen in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The information comes as a fifth family grieves. Navy Petty Officer Randall Smith died this weekend of his wounds. Four Marines were also killed. Police on Sunday escorted Smith's body to the local airport. Tarika Duncan is at a growing memorial in Chattanooga. Tarika, good morning. Good morning. Overnight, the FBI finished processing this crime scene where the first shooting happened. And as you can see behind me, it has now been turned into a memorial site to honor those five fallen, so those five fallen sailors. Federal investigators say they received hundreds of leads, but are still trying to determine exactly why Muhammad Youssef Abdulaziz opened fire on two military sites last week. They know he recently visited this public gun range and that the 24-year-old, a practicing Muslim, was pulled over in April for driving under the influence. On Saturday, Abdulaziz's family expressed their shock in a statement saying, the person who committed this horrible crime was not the son we knew and loved. For many years, our son suffered from depression. A source close to the family tells CBS this morning, Abdulaziz's parents encouraged his seven-month trip to Jordan last year because they hoped visiting relatives there would help him. Afzal Sheikh, who asked us not to show his face on camera, regularly saw Abdulaziz and his family at the mosque they attend. Did he seem depressed? His family said that he suffered from depression. Well, he might have, but I mean, I didn't see any difference in his attitude, in his appearance, action. So just every day, I, I mean, it was just normal. I mean, like every time I saw him. The shooting left five service members dead, including 21-year-old Marine Lance Corporal Skip Wells, who carried on a long family tradition of fighting for his country. His father, Kip Wells. We send our service people into harm's way overseas. That tends to be when we worry about them most. Don't tend to worry so much when, when we're here, when they're here at home. In the wake of the tragedy, Tennessee's governor, Bill Haslam, has called for a review of security procedures at military sites across the state. The recruiting centers, actually the reserve centers themselves, please give these guys something. Give them something just in case. And those were five service members who were killed. Now, just seven miles away, the Navy Operational Support Center, the scene of the second shooting, remains closed. Investigators are collecting evidence and say it could be another week of processing that crime scene. Nora? All right, Jerika, thank you so much.